Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. Hello and welcome to the Tripwire customer webinar, Protecting What You Don't Know About. I'm Ed Smith, Product Marketing Manager for Tripwire Asset Discovery and Vulnerability Management Solutions. Joining me today is Aaron Beck, Director of of product management at Tripwire. Before we start, I'd like to go over a few housekeeping items. Make sure that your audio is streaming correctly. Please note that the audio portion will stream through your PC or laptop speakers. And be sure to check your speaker volume, the volume setting on your computer, and your headset to ensure that it's turned on and volume is at, is at an audible level. Today's webcast is presented using a slide deck. You can click on the expand rectangle on the right top corner of the slide area to enlarge. If you're not seeing the slide movement in your console, you can try refreshing your browser. If you're having any technical difficulty, please click on the help widget. It's the question mark on your console and, covers, and it covers common technical issues. If you have a question during the presentation, click on the Q&A widget and submit your question. At the end of our presentation today, we will have a Q&A session. I will also be sending out a link to the on-demand version of this webcast and a link to the slides. So now let's get on to the presentation. Today we'll be taking a look at how continuous network discovery and automated asset inventory can identify rogue devices and shady software on your network that can expose your organization to critical risks and potential noncompliance. We'll talk about using asset inventory to assess the risk from an emerging threat or compliance drift. We'll cover how to identify previously undetected or unknown assets on your network. We'll see how to discover and inventory software and services that increase security risk or are prohibited by policy and compliance requirements. You'll learn how to proactively identify areas of exposure, vulnerability, and other security weaknesses. And we'll talk about how all of this is necessary for good security, efficient compliance, and agile operations. First, let's review some of the challenges we face in modern enterprise environments. Cyber criminals are threatening your business. They're after your crown jewels, the critical assets on your network. And the potential for financial loss, it's enormous, with $445 billion lost to cyber attacks, according to the Center for Strategic and International Studies. And these cyber criminals launch hundreds of thousands of malicious programs every day, but traditional defenses like malware are not sufficient, with only 51% of new malware being detected on day zero. And even worse, more advanced zero day and targeted attacks make it nearly impossible to detect threats quickly and respond in time. So how do you keep cyber criminals from stealing your crown jewels when your resources are limited and the number of cyber attacks is on the rise? And these threats aren't just about security, but also threats in terms of risks to your business, such as not passing an audit or the risk of an outage to a mission critical system. So what if you could focus your limited resources on the greatest risks, even as hackers evolve? And this is something that organizations are faced with, which is the challenge of managing what they can't see to be able to better focus those limited resources. We're dealing with threats that are constantly evolving, and they're becoming more determined to, defi uh, to find a way into your network. And once they get in, once an attacker infiltrates your network, they look for places to hide and assets to leverage so that they can advance their attack. And these can even be devices that are not visible from the internet. Uh, Internal devices can be used by attackers that have already gained internal access and now are looking for places to jump inside your internal network, jump points or additional victims, and in this way they can 
quickly turn one compromise machine into many. And change is constant throughout enterprise networks, as well as private clouds, and public clouds, new software, new applications, ports that get opened, new services that are exposed on the network, new operating systems and versions emerge. Virtual machines and elastic instances, they can go up and down. New software gets deployed. Employees are continuing to bring their own devices and installing their own software. And attacks can take advantage of these new devices that are stood up on the network one evening, but maybe not configured correctly or patched with the appropriate security updates until the next day. Poorly controlled machines, they're more likely to be either running software that's unneeded for business purposes, and that can introduce security flaws, or running malware that's introduced by an attacker, an attacker after a system is compromised. And because of this rapid change and increasing complexity, even authorized devices and services are at risk because they're unknown, unmanaged, and not properly monitored. And like the saying goes, you can't manage what you don't measure. Or as we at Tripwire like to say, you can't secure what you can't see. And this visibility problem uh, is becoming even more of a challenge because of new technologies and emerging technologies like the cloud where we have ports that need to be open on a firewall for internal services to connect and communicate with outside cloud services. Lots of technology now has been virtual, virtualized or is software defined, like a virtual switch or a virtual firewall, software defined networking. These are great things to have, but you can't see these things. They're not they're not tangible. They don't appear on a rack when you walk into a data center. So it's very hard to have good visibility of these virtual and software-defined technologies. Fortunately, Tripwire can help organizations manage and secure what they can't see by providing additional visibility and by using asset discovery and inventory technologies. This can help you get better visibility into what is on your network and what are running on your devices on your network. In fact, if you ask the experts at SANS or the Council on Cybersecurity Control, what are the first two things, or if you were to ask them what's the first thing to do to secure your network, number one would be taking inventory of authorized and unauthorized devices, and number two, inventory of authorized and unauthorized software. And these two foundational controls provide a good starting point for effective security, IT operations, and compliance by helping you understand exactly what's on your network. And having a foundation can help your organization make sense of the chaos that's occurring on your network and provide a good foundation for security IT ops and compliance workflows and provide the visibility that's needed for those workflows. So now I'd like to hand things over to Aaron, who is going to talk about the solution to this problem of limited visibility. Great. Thank you, Ed. And good morning and good afternoon to everybody. Thanks for joining us today. So as Ed went through, we've heard a lot about uh, a number of the challenges that organizations are facing today. And let's look into the solution, continuous and automated discovery of what's on your network. The Tripwire Asset Discovery Appliance is a discovery solution that addresses the top two security controls uh, that we just talked about, you know, as defined by SANS and the Council on Cybersecurity. Um, inventory of on authorized and unauthorized devices and software are those two top controls. And 
With an, without an accurate picture of what you have on your network, detecting change is going to be impossible. Um, so let's put this in tripwire enterprise terms really quick. In order to detect change on a system, you have to have a known baseline or you know a known profile to compare against. Once you have that known state, Tripwire Enterprise can help you start answering those important change questions. What changed? Who made the change? When was the change made? Now let's apply that back to the network. The Tripwire Asset Discovery Appliance can help you by detecting and getting that starting inventory point. And from there, you can detect when systems join or leave the network. Um, it continually discovers the devices and applications on your network enabling you to reduce your attack surface by removing rogue assets, uninstalling unauthorized or unnecessary software, and it features a built-in Tripwire integration to Tripwire Enterprise. The Asset Discovery Appliance helps you proactively reduce the risk of a potential breach through collaboration and through automation of inventory data in Tripwire Enterprise. This helps you highlight suspicious changes and identify unmonitored assets. Um, obtaining good visibility into those assets on your network sets the foundation for what effective threat protection, compliance, and operations need to see. Um, so let's dig in at a high level. We know that everybody is overwhelmed with data. Too much uh, data from security control, controls, too many alerts, too many reports, how do I make sense of all this stuff? And more importantly, how do I prioritize what I have to do today? We know that threats are targeting your systems 24-7 and you need continuous protection, not something that just kicks in once a quarter to run a quick scan. The process uh, clearly starts in the top right corner with discovery. The Tripwire Asset Discovery Appliance will discover and uh, it will find everything wired or wireless on your network. Uh, from there, once it's discovered those assets, it will profile them to learn as much as it can about that asset. What operating system? What applications? What versions of those applications? What ports? What services? Everything about the asset that it can determine. From there, you can set tags which can be applied into uh, assets directly within Tripwire Enterprise. Uh, you know, some things that we see customers doing today is you may want to apply tags to systems with open SSL versions that are vulnerable to heart bleed. Um, how about versions of uh, what systems in your environment are running an operating system that you'd like to upgrade? You know, tell me all the systems in my environment that are running Red Hat 4. Uh, or maybe all of the uh, systems in your environment which are running an unsupported operating system, like tell me all of the Windows XP or Windows 98, heaven forbid, assets that are still running on my network. All of this information can be found out via the new Tripwire Discovery Appliance. That helps you prioritize and that helps you respond. It lets you look into those critical systems that should be looked at first. And uh, again, through the automation that we offer, uh, you can see this information being presented to you in your Tripwire Enterprise Console or in the Tripwire Asset Discovery UI. Let's deep, dig in a little bit deeper onto the discovery. So the Tripwire Asset Discovery Appliance uses an intelligent and non-intrusive discovery methodology. It's very fast, it's very accurate, and anything that's on your network, wired or wireless, will be found. And that includes mobile devices that you may allow uh, on your Wi-Fi networks. Again, to highlight, everything can be discovered. Even if your organization is segregating a network so that guest Wi-Fi is different from Wi-Fi that employees can bring their own devices and put those on, to corporate Wi-Fi, to your wired LANs, and of course your data center networks. We have scalable deployment options and it lets you, you can put a discovery profiler appliance on whichever of those networks you need in order to reach those networks. And uh, that will give you a complete and accurate inventory over everything on that network. At this point, you may be thinking that your asset discovery is, is good or, or maybe you're concerned. Either way, we know that when we've deployed these solutions into our customers' networks, they find something 
that they weren't aware of every time. So moving on from the devices and hosts, let me focus in a little bit more on the operating systems, applications, and the services that are running on those assets. Our profiling methodology allows you to profile a host from the outside. So we're looking at the ports, we're looking at the services, but it doesn't just assume that, hey, I see port 23 is open, that box must be running Telnet. It will probe the ports and try to determine the application or service using it, as well as what version of that application is running on that port. We do this because we know that quite frequently, bad actors will sometimes try to install services on well-known ports uh, to avoid detection. You know, port 23 is open or port 22 is open, that's okay. We know that that's SSH. But our profiling methodology is port independent. It will um, it can determine what port something is running on, but it won't only use that port that it's running on to determine what it is. And it's not just from the outside. We can also profile a system from the inside as well. Uh, our Tripwire Asset Discovery Appliance lets you specify credentials to a system. And if you uh, if you provide credentials, the Asset Discovery Appliance will try to log into those systems using those credentials, and it will give you a full internal inventory of what's running on that system. In fact, we also give you a, uh, a method to test those credentials ahead of time before you start scanning. So you can try the credentials against the assets that you uh, expect to see on your network, and then also the assets which you don't expect to see on your network. Once you have that full inventory of your assets, applications, and the like, you can automate and prioritize those actions within Tripwire Enterprise. So let's take a quick look what that looks like. On the right, you can see a screenshot from within the Discovery Appliance UI. You have a list of IP addresses that have been discovered on a given network. Uh, you also see, you know, where it can find one, a matching NetBIOS name and a DNS name. And then on the right, you see the green check mark for a number of those systems. And that green check mark indicates assets that already have a TE, Tripwire Enterprise, agent installed on them. So as we look at this further, from a security and compliance point of view, you may want to dig into those two systems, uh, Impact and Kali as they don't have a TE agent installed. Maybe they're rogue systems. Are they new? Are they in scope? Should they be covered by TE? Did somebody uninstall the TE agent and remove them from the TE console? We don't know, but those are certainly good places for you to start and look. The integration also allows you to apply tags based on observed conditions, like applications, versions of applications, and uh, operating systems. For example, if you tag all TE assets that have a version of OpenSSL that's vulnerable to heart bleed, maybe that helps you watch those changes more closely on those systems. Or if you get a number of changes that come in all at once during a, a change cycle, maybe you focus your, uh, your immediate response on looking at those systems which you know have a version of OpenSSL that could be vulnerable. You could also choose just to apply a tag to your servers with a database installed, um, because you know frequently servers with databases installed are going to be among some of your most critical in your infrastructure. So if you tag everything that's got um, Microsoft SQL or um, MySQL installed, um, those will that will help you prioritize and, and know what systems you should look at in terms of when when changes come in. Where should I start? You can also use the tagging integration that we featured to dig into negative conditions. So what does this mean? Um, you can use this feature to show where something is not installed, for, meaning the, the absence of a, uh, of a condition. You can highlight things like, show me all the Windows servers that don't have antivirus installed. 
or show me all open SSL versions that have not been upgraded to version 1.0.2 or above. So with the Tripwire Asset Discovery Appliance, you benefit from increased visibility and automation for more efficient and effective security, compliance, and operations. Again, it really helps you find those unauthorized devices and applications, you know, devices and applications you may need to disable, and that would help you reduce your attack surface. Um, but just as importantly, it also finds those authorized devices and critical assets to make sure that they're properly monitored using that um, UI that we just saw. You can see where you don't have a TE agent installed, and maybe you need to go install the TE agent on that in order to uh, remain compliant. Um, it helps you save time and reduce manual effort by automating actions in Tripwire Enterprise. Um, such as the automation of integrated data and the application of strict policy controls based on the presence or absence of a, an application. Again, to tie that back, you know, maybe you watch those servers that don't have antivirus installed much more closely than you do ones that do have antivirus installed. Or maybe you go out and fix that by applying antivirus to a server that you didn't know was missing it. Um, lastly, it helps you focus your resources on the greatest risks to your most critical assets, uh, spending time that will best help you lower your risk profile. Again, as we look at tagging things, you know, tagging databases like Microsoft SQL and MySQL, you know, those are going to help you find what systems you need to look at first. And for threat exposure, it, what machines may be if, uh, open to be affected by Heartbleed which ones have open SSL, which ones have Telnet running, uh, which ones have a various component, which is the next major thing to be compromised. We don't know yet, but we'll be able to help you search for them. So as we look into security and threat detection, we know that uh, that part of the IT group will always need to quickly determine or quickly detect attacks and know what networks and assets are most at risk. Uh, they definitely need to know how to prioritize what issues, what hosts, what alerts, what do I look at first? Again, I've got so much to do in my, in my busy day, where do I start? The D Tripwire Asset Discovery Appliance can help you here by providing all that key data that we've spoken about earlier. Discovery of assets, discovery of applications, versions of applications. It really helps you set the foundation for effective threat protection. Um, as, as Ed managed earlier, you can't manage what you can't see. Uh, it helps you focus your efforts on the highest risks and the most critical assets. And that brings you a significant reduction of your overall cyber threat risk. Helps you gain confidence knowing that all the critical assets are being monitored. And you can see that from the, the quick screenshot that we talked through earlier. And you can also detect those at-risk assets and start managing them sooner. So what I using Tripwire... Think really Interesting. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, Darren. It, it, what, I, what I think is really interesting on, on this point is with, you know, file integrity monitoring or configuration management, we're, we're taking a look at all these changes that are going on in our environment. And sometimes that can create a lot of noise, right? There's a lot of change going on. We're installing updates. A lot of that change is good, so we don't really need to look that closely at it. It's, it's those needles in the haystack that we want to find. So there's this challenge of all this change data. So, you know, it would seem counterintuitive almost that we're adding even more data to this problem. Now we have this change data. Now we have all this inventory, these applications we've discovered. Um, but I think the key here is that combining the two actually takes this big set of data and then transforms it into something that's um, more, you know, more like information, something that's that's actionable. Um, it's almost like this um, discovered data, it acts like a highlighter 
of somewhat of you know going through all this change and then highlighting things that look suspicious or require additional investigation. So you know, there's a lot of change going on, but you know look at right over here on the network. This machine has Dropbox installed, and there's a lot of change going on. You should probably go check that out. So I think that's that's really interesting and really valuable. Yeah. Thanks, Ed. And I would also add that, you know, with all that data, it's really important that you get very accurate data. And so one of the, the keys to the Tripwire solution is our Tripwire VERT team, our research team. And they are always out. They're always on the front lines. They're helping to, de 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 ah, to develop the conditions that our profilers are looking for on your network. You know, so they're always writing new... Um, they're writing updates every week, and uh, that that definitely helps when new versions come out. You know, you can you can tag what versions of software it, or what what assets in your environment are running older versions, and then tag which ones you've upgraded and which ones are running those new versions, so you can keep a close eye on them. For those customers that are also uh, interested in a vulnerability management solution, uh, we can also let you know that the asset discovery appliances are fully integrated and will work within our IP360 solution. So if you already have VM or even if you don't have VM, you can always bring in uh, Tripwire IP360 as, as a second to help augment your existing solution. Or if you don't have VM today, um, the Tripwire Asset Discovery Appliances can be easily upgraded and turn into a full vulnerability management solution. So for the compliance side, we know that you guys need to know what networks and devices are in scope. That's clearly uh, the most important. You know, what are you going to be uh, audited against? Um, so you need to improve your efficiency and decrease your costs while making sure that everything within those uh, within those networks are are adequately covered. Again, we've we've seen previously the screenshot of the UI, which let you see systems in a given network which are or are not covered. So that will help you find systems quickly that need to be covered potentially by a Tripwire Enterprise agent. Um, it also helps you with a, a getting a complete inventory. We know that that most auditors will will want to ask, you know, where is your complete inventory of everything that's running on your network? Um, and again, it helps you determine what shouldn't be on your network so that you can turn it off before they get you, before before they get there and, and find it running. Yeah, and I think that's a really interesting application here as, as well with with compliance and as you mentioned that that scope what you know what's in scope for this audit or, or this compliance initiative because you know obviously you, you know you don't want to overshoot it or undershoot it if, if you know if you're including too many assets in scope that you know that's a waste of time and resources um, if you're not covering everything then you know you're, you're risking missing your audit um, so very very important for um, controlling costs Definitely agreed. So for IT operations, uh, we know that you guys, it, it's critical to maintain un uninterrupted operations and that you need to do that by uh, reducing any manual processes where you can. Uh, again, the integration between the discovery appliances and Tripwire Enterprise will help you there as it will allow all of this, uh, this important data to flow directly into Tripwire Enterprise, and it will help highlight things within Tripwire Enterprise for you. Um, as you continue to, to automate things, obviously you're going to be driving down your, uh, your costs, as well as allowing your staff to really focus on those most important applications, uh, those most important assets, those most important changes that you need to dig into right away. Uh, again, as, as Ed mentioned a couple slides back, right? It's it's about digging through all the noise and helping to prioritize where should your uh, your very valuable IT um, operation staff be focusing their time.
So our Tripwire Asset Discovery Appliances, um, they're available in a number of form factors, physical and virtual. We offer uh, one-u boxes that you can put in your data centers. Uh, on the virtual side, we offer solutions both for VMware and for Hyper-V. And we also offer an Amazon machine image that can be run on AWS. Um, these appliances are all great form factors. They're really quick to implement, so you can get them up and running very fast. Um, they're easy to deploy. They're pre-hardened. They're security appliances. Um, they, they don't use a lot of bandwidth, and in fact, you can limit the amount of bandwidth used on any discovery scan if you, if you want to do that. Uh, they're very highly accurate and performant and scalable, of course. They provide a non-intrusive discovery of both devices and applications. And to date, we have more than 18,000 conditions for operating systems, applications, and protocol signatures that are included with your asset discovery appliance. And just to chime in on that on that last slide, uh, for the, the easy to deploy hardened security appliance, just wanted to comment on that. Um, actually had a an analyst ask me the other day why you know why did Tripwire go with an appliance format? Wouldn't you know with cloud environments virtualization don't you know shouldn't you guys offer something virtual? And you know as, as Aaron mentioned on this slide, we we do offer um, a virtual appliance in addition to a physical appliance. So depending on you know if you're doing a physical data center, or cloud or private cloud, we, we have that deployment option. But I wanted to kind of explain what, you know, why we call it an, an appliance. Um, and that's because it's, it's ready to deploy. Um, it's pre-hardened, it's, it's secured, and it's supported and maintained by Tripwire. So it's as plug, as play, as, uh, plug and play as you can, you can get, right? So you, you don't have to have responsibility for hardening the OS, installing OS updates, and maintaining the underlying OS. All of those um, maintenance and configuration pieces, we take care of that. So it's really your preference if you want to go physical or, or virtual, um, but that word appliance is, um, we, you know, the reason we call it that is because it's, it's easy to set up and deploy. Great point. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, please continue. Sure thing. So the other thing, uh, earlier in the presentation, we mentioned the Tripwire Vert team, which is our vulnerability research team. Um, so just to quickly cover them, uh, obtaining good visibility in your environment and, and seeing the uh, reliable coverage for your devices and applications uh, so Tripwire is committed to providing up-to-date and accurate coverage through our VERT team. Our, our team is dedicated security professionals recognized as experts in their field, and they're focused entirely on research. So inventory of, uh, of any network is obviously a moving target, and VERT will help keep you equipped for change with our proactive solutions. As I mentioned, as new operating systems come out, as new applications come out, our security team is aware of these, and they're writing those checks and conditions so that they can be uh, so that they can be found on your network. We provide the detection rules for the devices and applications present in uh, in all modern enterprise environments. And for customers that use our vulnerability management product, Tripwire IP360, every Patch Tuesday. Um, for every critical Microsoft Security Bulletin, we guarantee 24-hour response time, and that's the only one in the industry. This represents an ongoing investment by Tripwire to deliver the depth and breadth of coverage necessary uh, for fresh and actionable intelligence. At this point, I'd like to hand it back to Egg to help summarize. Thank you, Aaron. So in summary, the Tripwire Asset Discovery Appliance is the only asset inventory profiling solution that includes a built-in integration with Tripwire Enterprise. So that makes it a, a unique solution to address not only 
critical security controls number one and number two, but also strengthen critical security control number three, which is what Tripwire Enterprise does, and that's secure configurations for hardware and software uh, on mobile devices, laptops, workstations, and servers. And this is all done through that built-in integration, providing that additional data for correlation, prioritization, and automation. And as Aaron just mentioned, this whole thing is backed by our research team, Tripwire Vert, that dedicated team of security researchers. And their whole focus is on providing coverage checks, and they look at applications, operating systems that are in use in the modern enterprise. So ongoing coverage, broad, deep, and that's going to help you set that foundation, find those operating systems, devices, build that inventory. And finally, this is based on a flexible and scalable architecture. So as I was explaining, those appliances, you could deploy them virtual, physical in your data center, enterprise networks, private clouds, public clouds, and the whole thing scales very well. So it's an end-tier architecture. A lot of people can get started with just one appliance. When you're ready to scale out to other locations, other networks, other segments, you can add in more appliances as, as your needs grow, as your network grows, as your business grows. And this is a tripwire solution. So tripwire, um, we've been around for a while. We're, we've been recognized with lots of awards. We're known as a, a leading company in the space. And our customers trust us for their high value assets. Um, we're known for delivering best-in-class solutions, and all of our products are built on a foundation of innovation and, and deep security expertise. And we have over 9,000 organizations uh, worldwide, and they're using our platform to protect over a million business-critical endpoints. So we're Nearing the end of our presentation today, um, if you would like more information about the Tripwire Asset Discovery Appliance, head over to tripwire.com where you can download Datasheet. And at this point, uh, I'd like to go ahead and open up the Q&A section. So if you haven't already, there is a Q&A widget that should appear on your screen. If you click on that, you can send us your question. And we'll let me pop over to the question list here and we will open the Q&A. All right, the first question, can you send me a recording of this presentation? Absolutely, we will send out a recording of this presentation uh, the slides will go up on SlideShare. Feel free to review, forward to a colleague or associate, um, and we will we'll send the follow. We'll, that'll be in the follow-up email that we sent out after this presentation. Next question: um, Does Tripwire discover mobile devices like smartphones? Aaron, I'll let you answer that. Absolutely. So the answer is yes. So we'll discover anything on your network that has an IP address installed. So if you allow mobile devices, you know, bring your own devices, tablets, smartphones, whatever they are, on your wireless network, and they get assigned an IP address, the Tripwire Asset Discovery Appliance will detect them when they join the network, and it will, uh, yes, it will find them. Next question. Does the Discovery Appliance perform vulnerability assessments? So the Discovery Appliance uh, will help you find what's on your network. It'll help you find those assets. It'll help you find those applications. It can determine uh, with credentialed scanning, it can really determine what versions are running of those applications. But in order to get the vulnerability assessments, uh, you would need our full vulnerability management product, which is Tripwire IP360. All 
All right. Uh, so actually, this this next question is a good follow-on to the first question. Does Tripwire's asset discovery solution integrate with IP360? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it uses the same architecture, same user interface, and uh, you can get up and running with your discovery scans and your vulnerability scans within the same UI. So absolutely. All right. Uh, next question. You mentioned application tags in Tripwire Enterprise. Is there a way to get vulnerability tags in Tripwire? Yes, uh, absolutely. So in order to get those vulnerability tags in Tripwire Enterprise, you would need to uh, buy the full Tripwire IP360 solution. Uh, with that, you would get all of that vulnerability data that you're looking for, and then you could uh, you could choose which of those you pass through to Tripwire Enterprise with tags. So yes, absolutely. All right. Next question is a is a is a full Tripwire Enterprise required to use asset discovery? Can I use a FIM license? It's a great question. Uh, so any Tripwire Enterprise licenses, including uh, FIM or our policy only, policy manager only licenses, uh, they're all compatible with the asset discovery appliance integration. So uh, you don't need to have a, a full uh, version as you called it, but you can just use it with uh, FIM or policy manager, absolutely. Uh, and then actually this, this was a follow-up. If Are there any limitations, if, if I'm using FIM, if I'm using a FIM license, are there any limitations on what data gets passed over? Uh, no, no no limitations. Um, all, all of the data from Tripwire, uh, from the asset discovery appliances will be pushed over to TE, no matter what type of uh, Tripwire enterprise license you have. All right. Next question. I've heard the asset discovery can tell me which machines are not currently monitored by Tripwire. How do I do that? So we have a, uh, an area within the UI on the asset discovery appliance. Um, you may have missed it. We we looked through it a little bit earlier, but there is a, a great screen there where it can detect the IPs that are running on the network as well as the um, NetBIOS and, and DNS names of those assets. And then it will provide you a little check mark over on the right-hand side to tell you which of your assets are also being monitored by a Tripwire uh, Enterprise agent. All right. Next question. Please compare the functionality provided by the software client versus the network scanning. Uh, and actually, I, I can I can take a shot at answering that. Um, with the the software client, uh, Tripwire Enterprise, there's an agent uh, installed on the endpoint. Um, some types of devices don't require uh, an agent; they're agently assessed without an agent. Um, but then once once they're set up in Tripwire Enterprise, then you get all the benefits of Tripwire Enterprise, including change detection, um, policy enforcement, um, breach detection. There's there's a whole list of uh, features, capabilities, benefits that you get from Tripwire Enterprise. Um, most of them require getting that agent installed and getting that device onboarded into Tripwire Enterprise. Um, so that's the first functionality difference or, or kind of the, the, uh, the way these two work together is that this appliance can let you know that that agent is out there because if it hasn't been added to the TE console, it's not in TE. So again, there's that visibility of what do I have out there, what's in scope. Um, step one, let's make sure it's monitored by TE, especially if it's a critical asset. So that's one area of 
comparison between the functionality. Um, the other would be related to the different perspectives that are provided between the two solutions. So with Tripwire Enterprise, it's agent-based usually, which means it's kind of a, a inside-out approach. Um, things can be monitored in real, you know, in real time. Where we have an agent running the machine, we can detect those changes. It's um, real time or near real time. With network scanning, it's more of an outside-in approach. So not only are we, you know, discovering things that TE may not know about, um, but we can um, authenticate to the machine, log in, and query for what applications are installed. And along with that comes that vert coverage that we talked about, those tens of thousands of applications, um, operating systems, services, ports, and not just the name of them, but specific details like the apps, you know, the version that it's running, things like that. And all of this coverage provided by Tripwire Vert team. So the combination of that agent-based, agentless approach provides the comprehensive visibility to make sure that you have things monitored um, and then also enabling that correlation of the two data sets. So you get all that data in Tripwire Enterprise, you get this discovered inventory from the asset discovery appliance, perform the correlation, turn huge mountains of data into something that's usable and actionable. And we are uh, nearing, getting close to the, the end of our, our session today. Um, we still have a few minutes left for Q&A. If anyone else has any questions, please enter them into the chat box now. And one, uh, so another question, what other asset discovery inventory integrations does Tripwire support? So I know, so, um, oh, yeah, go ahead, Aaron, if you want to take that one, I'll let you. Sorry about that. Yeah, so Tripwire supports uh, integrations with a number of, of different products. Of course, Tripwire Enterprise is the one we've talked about huge today and the, inter, uh, the integration there. But we also do integrate with uh, things like BMC, uh, ServiceNow, IBM, HP, uh, and, and others. All right, and if anyone else would like to submit a question, please do so now. It's last call for questions. Give another minute here in case anyone else would like to submit a question, or not, maybe not a minute, but a couple more seconds. Okay. All right, well, thank you for joining us today. We hope that you'll join us for future webcasts. And you can visit tripwire.com to find out about future events. Also, I encourage you to check out our award-winning blog, State of Security. If you, if you haven't checked that out, that's a, that's a great um, resource on, on security uh, industry news. Head on over to tripwire.com and, and look for the link to our blog. So we'll go ahead and wrap up the session. I'd like to thank uh, my co-presenter today, Aaron Beck. Thank you for joining us, and, and thanks for your time and your, your expertise. And i also like to thank uh, everyone who joined us today, our attendees and our customers. Thank you for spending your valuable time with us today. We hope that you uh, enjoyed the session, that this was useful to you. So thanks a lot, and have a great day.